The British government will expel Russia's London defense attaché after accusing him of spying for the Kremlin. In a statement in the House of Commons, Home Secretary James Cleverly branded the diplomat a, quote, undeclared military intelligence officer and said he's being expelled as part of a wider clampdown on malign activity, hinting at Russian Federal Security Service. There is a much broader pattern of Russian malign activity across Europe. These include plans for sabotage activities against military aid for Ukraine in Germany and in Poland, espionage in Bulgaria and in Italy, cyber attacks and disinformation activities, airspace violations and GPS jamming with an impact on, civilian avia on civil aviation. The move from the British officials follow a tit-for-tat diplomatic row that saw Russia impose, or Russia impose its own restrictions on the UK embassy in Moscow. Last year in July, Russia's foreign ministry imposed tight travel restrictions on British diplomats working in the country. It said they must give at least five days' notice and provide extensive travel details if they want to leave a 120-kilometer free movement zone. The Russian Foreign Ministry also demanded British diplomats to provide details of accommodation, transport, planned contacts and the purpose of any trip before travelling within Russia. Hence, as for, of today, the UK government will remove diplomatic premises status from several Russian-owned properties in the UK, which cleverly said he believes have been used for intelligence purposes. The government also plans to cap the length of time Russian diplomats can spend in the UK as part of new restrictions on Russian diplomat or Russian diplomatic visas. However, this is not the first time a standoff between Britain and Russia, especially after the Ukraine-Russia war escalated. This year in February, Russia added at least 18 British military, political and academic figures to its entry ban list in response to London's efforts to reduce Moscow's influence in the international arena. Then a few days later, in the same month, the UK government summoned Russian embassy diplomats to make clear that the UK held Russian authorities full responsible or fully responsible for the death of Kremlin, uh, Kremlin critic Alexei Navalny. Then last month, UK Foreign Secretary David Cameron demanded Russia to release Vladimir Karamutza immediately on humanitarian grounds. Karamutza was arrested roughly two years ago for opposing Russia's illegal war in Ukraine. Following the British accusations, the Russian ambassador to the UK has been summoned by the British government, in reply to which Moscow's foreign ministry spokeswoman told the state news agency that Russia will provide an adequate response. For all the latest news, download the Wion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.